Hi everyone, welcome back to The Road Ahead with AJ. Thank you so much for stopping by and uh, I would like to start by saying that I'm really, really thankful and appreciative of all the feedback and the comments I've been getting on my videos. It really means a lot and it helps me improve uh, my videos and the content that I put up. So thank you so much for that. Before we go ahead, please, kripaya, see you play. Hit that subscribe button down there. Thank you so much. Now, today's video is about the disc brake on the Continental GT 535. So, one of my viewers left a comment saying that uh, he feels that the, the pads on the rear brake are constantly touching against the, the disc, and which is why the wheel is turning really tight. So, he already mentioned that he's changed the brake pads, but it hasn't helped. So let's see if we can diagnose uh, the problem for him. Now, first things first, when it comes to the, the disc brakes and if you ride in most Indian conditions, the, so the thing is the calipers have the pads inside them which run against the disc. What happens is that a lot of dust gets stuck in between and it's happened to me as well that I think that there's something wrong with the disc and you take it to the to the wash, ask the guy to really direct the jet of water onto the caliper so that it dislodges any dirt stuck in between and a lot of times that solves the problem. But in this case I think it's not. So let's start by di diagnosing it. Okay, first he said that he's already replaced the pads. So if the pads are new and they are the correct specification, if you got the correct pads for the GT535 then maybe you need to check the alignment of the wheel because the reason is that the disc runs between these the two pads and if your wheel is misaligned your disc is misaligned and it's going to touch while running it's going to touch against one side of the pads again and again and that could um, cause the wheel to turn tighter the next thing you could check is uh, so the caliper itself has a piston in it. When you press the, the brake uh, pedal, the hydraulic pushes the oil and that oil comes in here and pushes something called a piston which pushes in turn the brake pad and that's how the, the this brake actually works. So what happens is when you remove the, the original brake pads, you have to make sure that the piston is pushed fully back into the caliper and it's not sticking out. Because if you do that and fit the pads on top of that, that becomes the position for the piston and it's going to start pushing out from there. So make sure that that, is, um, that has been done correctly. Now one last option is, uh, which is very unlikely un until and unless you had a really bad accident where the disc itself is bent. So that could cause the, again, for it to rub against uh, the, the pads. But that's very unlikely and if you had a bad accident, you'll probably know that the disc has, is gone. Now, before I end this video, uh, on the same note, it happens quite often that we think uh, when we hear a sound in the bike that, oh, this could be a problem. But the thing with the... Uh, most vehicles now is this, they're so complicated. You don't know if what you've diagnosed preliminary by your ears is correct or not. So it, it, it occurred to me that if the wheel is tight and you, you're not sure whether it's the disc brake or not, a lot of times there is the wheel bearing. So the wheel bearing is what holds the wheel onto the, the, the shaft. So if the wheel bearing is gone, that's definitely going to lock up your uh, your wheel and it won't run smoothly. So if you think that you verified everything with the disc, if the braking system is fine, then you might want to uh, remove the wheel and check the bearings. That could be an issue. Now I'm not saying that that's what it is, but a lot of times, uh, like I said, that you think the, the, the issue is something and it turns out to be something a little different. Yes, the sound may be coming from the uh, from the rear wheel but the issue could be different. So maybe check that out as well. That could also help. Well, that's it for this episode. I think I've covered uh, everything about the disc brake problems. Um, if, you, if, it, if it works out for you, please let me know. Leave a comment below. If you think I've missed out something, leave a comment below anyway. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. And before we go, please 
hit that subscribe button, the bell notification. As always, like, share and subscribe. It would be highly appreciated. So, thank you so much. Dream on, ride on and helmet always on.